Trenton, Ontario. Fantastic city. It's where I personally call home with my family. But there are a few small details that you'd want to be aware of before moving here. I've spoken with people that moved here in the past and they didn't know about these and they always said, kind of wish I had. So we're going to cover that in this video. And stay tuned for the last one where we'll answer, what's that smell? My name's Jeremy Tremblay. I'm a local realtor in Belleville and surrounding areas. If you are considering making a move to this area, definitely reach out. My number's on the screen. My email's down in the description. I'd love to hear from you. Just kind of have the conversation about what this area has to offer. Let's get to the video. So the first thing that people learn when they come to this area is that Trenton is based around Canadian Forces Base Trenton, which is the largest Air Force Base in Canada. So what are there? Planes, which create noise. Um, it surprises me how many people don't know this um, about Trenton, but yeah, it was uh, the, the reason why this area is here. And so when you come, you will see planes flying overhead, often the, uh, the gray, bland looking military planes. Uh, you will see those flying, they do tactical maneuvers that flying around the area, they generally will fly lower than you would see from other commercial planes. And they are just doing all their practice all around the area. Um, every once in a while, not too often, the F-18 fighter jets will also come. They, uh, they come from other areas within Canada and they practice landing and taking off here. And while they're here sometimes, they like to, you know, just do a few uh, few loops around the city and those are pretty loud. Uh, my kids love it. They look up in the sky and they see these things going around, but those, not too often the jets are here, but the other planes, fairly regularly, you'll see them over top uh, doing their flying. Specifically, um, if you're over by the base, there's a few grocery stores right down by the water and that's where the planes come in to land. And uh, yeah, more than a few occasions, you'll look up and you'll wonder, are they gonna land on the grocery store? They are that close. And so something you'd wanna know um, and you get used to it. Uh, the locals, you can usually tell who they are because they don't even look up anymore. It's, they're so used to it, they don't even recognize that they are there. But when you're brand new for the first time, it's something you wanna take note of. Along with the planes, we do have trains as well. Uh, there are two tr sets of tracks that run through Trenton and they they don't run too often. I would say um, not any more than you'd expect of any kind of normal passenger rails and such, but they are there. There are a few neighborhoods specifically within Trenton that back right up to those trains. So they will hear those going through, especially if they have to be you know, blowing the whistle as they're going across any streets. There are two main streets within Trenton uh, where they actually have the arms that will come down and stop it. The rest, they have bridges going over top. But the noise is there. It's not too bad. It kind of depends on where you are in the city. So that's something as you're looking around considering homes, one of the questions you're gonna to wanna to ask is, well, where are the trains in relation to the specific home that you're looking at? The second thing to be aware of would be the bridges. So the way Trenton is set up, we have a river that runs right through the middle of the city and you can get to both sides of the city either by the 401 or there are two bridges that go over right in the city and this might be a big factor depending on where it is that you're wanting to live within Trenton and work because as I mentioned you get the Air Force Base that is on the one side but a lot of people living on the other side and of course what happens at certain times of day when school gets out work gets out congestion because everybody is trying to go over those same two bridges and so it's not too bad. The rest of the day, it's actually not bad at all, but there is a time frame, kind of that rush hour time frame, where it can get backed up pretty good, and you just have to be aware of that. And for some people, uh, when they were looking for a home, they thought, oh, I wish I'd bought on the other side of the river because then I would avoid it altogether. And so something to keep in mind, um, people from big cities will laugh at me because they say that's, that's no congestion at all, but small town feel, we like to be able to get everywhere, everywhere within five minutes, that's something to consider. 
The next one is something that for some people it might affect them more than others. Uh, if you're looking for a vibrant nightlife in the downtown district, uh, this is a smaller town. Um, it is nice during the day. You can walk down there. They've done a great job. They have the flowers and the plants and um, a lot of decent amount of foot traffic that happens. But it's still based around a small town. And with that, you have a lack of um, dining options, restaurants. There are a few local favorites that people have that are in the city, uh, but that's something that many have noticed when they ask, well, where do I go for dinner? There aren't too many options yet that are within Trenton directly. Um, Belleville, which is 10, 15 minutes, depending on where you are, drive, they have a lot more options. So they are kind of covering that. Uh, Trenton is catching up. Now that the city is growing, you're starting to see more restaurants come. Uh, but what has come first is fast food. If you want something to smile about, just say cheeseburger at McDonald's. In McDonald's, land of McDonald's. We seem to have all the fast food options now. Um, because it's such a hot spot uh, with people driving uh, down the 401, they can exit and they've built it up uh, heavily. And so you saw McDonald's used to be there in the one spot. Well, now it's got Starbucks and the Wendy's and the specialty places, all the fast food. And uh, they're also even building a new, it's called a Homestead Marketplace right off the highway as well. It's just kind of a tourism destination. Uh, they're even gonna have the first uh, Beaver Tail storefront in there. So we'll do a separate video on what's gonna be happening over there, cause that's, that's exciting. But like I'm saying, a lot of fast food restaurants, not a lot of fine dining restaurants. So you're gonna be going over to Belleville to get all those options. What also comes with a smaller town is lack of hotel options. So there are a couple hotels right when you come off that highway. There are a few there, um, but not, not too many. And so um, you can find some Airbnbs, um, but also once again, just not, not as many options are available yet because the city has just started growing. And so not to worry, I mentioned about the dining in Belleville. Belleville is also growing quite a bit with the hotels. They are getting more hotels as well. So uh, for many people, they kind of have family coming to visit. They just stay in Belleville, and uh, which creates a nice little bit of distance, you know, 10, 15 minute drive. And they have all the options covered, go out to dinner. Uh, but Trenton has uh, enough if you have someone coming just for the night. And that brings us to our final point. And this is one that uh, caught me off guard when we first came here. The Trenton smell. Now, I, I put that like it's it, it always smells in this city, and that is that is not the case. But I used to live over on the east side of the river, and oftentimes I'd come outside my house, and there it was. There's the smell. My house stink. The Trenton stinks. And there is a factory in Trenton that produces that smell, and depending on the wind direction, you might smell it and so we've since moved over to the west side of the river i don't smell it nearly as often um it's to the point that many people don't really notice it um but maybe i have a more sensitive smell it's still there and so that's the type of thing that you kind of want to be aware of and if uh, depending when you come to look at homes it, it you may not smell it at all um but it's one of those things where you want to be uh considering it and if you have a high uh, sensitivity of smell. It's one of those things to uh, keep in mind. But if you go outside now, you smell it every once in a while, it just reminds you that you're home. That's it for the negatives of Trenton. Not many, not too bad, but definitely some things that uh, you'll wanna know. Hopefully you feel a little bit more informed about it. I'm gonna be doing some more videos on Trenton, kind of pointing it all out. I'm gonna put one up on a map tour. So if you don't really know anything about the area, that'll be great because it'll give you a good visual of where everything is in town. And like I said before, give me a call. My name's Jeremy Tremblay. My number's gonna be on the screen. My email down in the description. I look forward to hearing from you.